Okay, everybody in the background here is Scat and Wash, and uh, it's getting pretty barren out here. It's too late in the day for me to uh, download any more videos. On that video about the uh, about radio, uh, my friend AC brought his bird meter out. We hooked it all up, and even though that meter needle goes the way to the right, the radio is not transmitting. So I hooked up my uh, Antenna, we're going to check the match on the, the uh, CB whip antenna. And unfortunately, it doesn't come up very well on the match at all. Um, contrary to what we checked uh, with another friend in Flagstaff uh, this past summer. So there's still an issue there. But uh, I had my microphone hooked up, key down, and then I could see power going out, and it's, it's like a two to one match. It's not very good at all. But key down, power goes out, and I can read something coming back, too much coming back, but uh, I let up on the key, and it stops transmitting, so there's something going on with that needle uh, that wants to go on way to the right when I turn the power on, so maybe a short in the, uh, in that system there somewhere, um, anyway, I'm trying to hide behind the van here, because, you know, guess what, it's windy again, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go side of the camera, ow, just jab myself on my ladder. Uh, this is looking to the east. I'm going to be heading that way. Uh, generally, that's well, you can see the freeway maybe. So, my game plan is tomorrow I'm going to go have breakfast with the guys, um, go to the library for a little bit, download this video, and relax a bit. And then I'm going to start heading off into Phoenix and make my way up to Prescott, Chino Valley, and unload these solar panels and, and a bunch of other things. So my next step uh, regarding that is to get a um, good charge controller. I'm told I need a 25 amp charge controller, um, and this these will be 12 volt, not 24 volt. My my thought is to put one of those panels on the roof of the van, and the other two I would carry with me and mount somewhere and do something with. I don't know what yet. Um, I, I'm a long ways before I can get a, a charge controller and deep cycle batteries but once i do that guess what i won't have to run to restaurants and library and uh mcdonald's you know that kind of thing and, and get on the computer which i've been forced to do this past year um this means i'll be able to spend more time on the uh, um, laptop learning uh, programs and you know editing and uh, uh, get my files pulled together and organized and so forth so anyway I just wanted to make this uh, additional uh, video. Uh, I'm all packed and ready to go and looking forward to some new adventures. Um, I did see one rattlesnake out here, not too far from where I'm at right at the moment. But I'm out in the open, so um, I'm not near the, uh, the brush. And I do pay attention when I uh, walk around at night. And uh, maybe I have a flashlight with me to make sure that there's nothing crawling around out here. Uh, I'm going to face into the wind. There'll be some wind noise, but you'll see the, the area here. Hold on. I'm facing right into the wind. Okay, now I'm back out of the wind. Somewhat. Okay, that's it. I uh, don't want to drag it on too long here. Um, just want to make an additional video. And uh, I've had a long day. I'm going to take a little nap and uh, get up and later and get some things done so uh, that's it thank you for watching and uh, I did get some uh, some good feedback let me uh, mention this uh, I am thinking about making uh, you know a studio so to speak in my uh, van I've got my passenger seat turned around facing backwards I've got a background uh, so I can control the lighting as best I can um, I do have a background in uh, video taping and, and film recording uh, not just still, but some video and some um, eh, film back then, a yeah, movie, 8 millimeter, 16 millimeter uh, filmmaking. Very little, but I have some experience. And I know about storyboarding, and I know about using different cameras, you know, camera one, camera two, your graphics camera. Uh, I was at uh, Pomona City College for a semester, took a class in uh, doing video and uh, film recording back then. Uh, we played the role of uh, producer, technical director, uh, floor director, the camera operator. I, did, I was in front of the camera. 
that, but uh, I worked all behind the scenes. So anyway, just a quick little spiel there. I I, um, I got the basic ideas in my head. It's just not having the equipment and the power to run things and be able to relax and have a frame, good frame of mind where I can concentrate on what I'm doing. Okay, don't want to ramble on. I just want to throw, throw that out there. I'm tired. I've had a long day, and I got a lot ahead of me. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned. Okay, that's it. Shut the button off. I can't see. There it is.